Hello, go to audibletrial.com slash YFAC to get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook on us. Thank you. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Young, Young Free, Free and, and Coupled. Coupled. I am Issa. And I'm Shamika. And we're happy that you've joined us again. Our listening figures are getting more and more every episode. So Thanks guys. You must be telling people and the retweets and likes and stuff must be helping. So thank you, as Shamika said. Um, you know, shall we, shall we give them, the, tell them what we've been up to this week? Just a brief... Okay, you start, you start. Well, this week, I have been quite busy, alright, um, i got some good podcasting friends, basically, and they've been putting me forward to stuff to, like, feature on other podcasts, and they've been inviting me on their shows, and... You know, I've been doing that, which has been fun. Mm -hmm. And I've been putting in the hours at work because now my back's fully recovered and I can get up and I can uh, jump around. Jump around. (laughs) Jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know why my hand was going like <laughs> that's that. That's how we dance. We just, how do you dab? How do you dab? Dab. Dab. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And I'm not going to complain. I have not been sleeping that well. But I think I need to kind of push through this little bit to kind of get somewhere. So I'm just finding energy. What do you what mean you've it? not been sleeping well? Do you mean you haven't been going to bed? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. No, it's isn't not it? the same thing. They might be think they might think that oh, like I'm you go to bed. Turning. Yeah, exactly. You I haven't been sleeping sleep like well. At all. Shamika's taken up the bed, or you know, Shamika <laughs> put my daughter in the bed, bed, or I don't know. But listen, when I sleep, he chooses not to go to bed. Right? Trust me. Even if I get three hours sleep, it's a good, good sleep. I always sleep well. Last night, what happened? So sometimes I, I have to wake good him night. up. I kept saying goodnight to you, remember? No. I, I was getting into bed. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. You said to me a few times. Then yeah. I, I gave you a kiss and I got in and I was like, all right, goodnight. And then when I actually lay down, I was like, yeah, goodnight. You're like, why do you keep saying goodnight to me? Yeah, because every if, if Issa says goodnight to me, yeah, it doesn't matter if I say goodnight to him. If he says it to me twice and I say goodnight to him twice, if he says it to me a third time and I don't say it back to him, he's going to be like, why aren't you saying goodnight to me? So I'm like, stop saying goodnight to me. How do I want to say goodnight to you, man? And yeah. I'm like, it's because I just want to say goodnight just before I go to sleep. I don't know how long it takes me to get to sleep. Mm. One minute, two minutes. It's really quick, isn't it? Seconds. 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 As soon as I hit the, the pillow, I'm out, mate. So, mm. I I have I need to get more sleep soon. But for now, I'm trying to get these podcasts out because I'm loving it. And I'm seeing the figures go up. And it's really encouraging. Yes. What about you? What about me? What about you? What about me? What, what about, about us? us? What we gonna do? Total, help me sing. Total, total. I thought you said Toto. No, Toto. Uh, it's Mar- Toto it's my accent. American accent. Oh, Toto. Total. 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 Help me sing. The, the girl group. Total. Help me sing. Yeah, Total. Um, yeah, how's my week been? It's been good, but stressful. <gasps> this homeschooling business is taking its toll on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like, you know... At first, it was one homeschooling one child. That was okay, you know, because I had two kids at home and one kid at one child at school. Mm-hmm. Then you know, over, after the summer holidays, it was two homeschooling two children with three children at home. It was like okay, it's, you know, it's hard, but it's, it's okay. But now I've got four kids, and it's like at first it was like, yeah, it's okay because she sleeps, but she's starting to not sleep in the day now. So it's like I have to like. I'm just like, I feel like I'm... <laughs> You're feeling it. I'm just feeling it, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but yeah, I'm just, just trying to keep going, trying to like 
find That's different... very British way of way to keep going. You look like Tim Henman. Like, find yes. find a way to like yes, find a way. You know to um, occupy the younger ones, and you know it's just it's a struggle. It's an everyday struggle. Yeah, it's not it's not easy. So and obviously it I'm was easier. I felt it was easier before, but boy, it's getting harder now. So that's how my week's been just but, an everyday struggle but <laughs> i have to butt in you have been doing very good actually because you have been making charts of what the kids are supposed to do and you have actually been homeschooling them and they're learning harder stuff and they are having fun so yes it's hard and you know we're gonna go with the flow so I was yawning and I was, gonna, I was just about to say, I don't have an um, excuse that I'm pregnant anymore. <laughs> Isn't it? But hey. But you still got the hormones what, running for your body. That's what happens when you're like homeschooling four kids. Well, two kids, but you got four kids on the go. Like, mm. you're just like It's like you're juggling them. When you do something with one kid, then another kid needs something. Then you do something with that kid, then another kid. Then you need to wash up dishes. Then you need to bathe a child. Then you need to get some dinner. Then you need to sort out your husband. You just so many things, man. So many things. Like I said the other day, a mother's work is never done, and it never is. So or a father's work. But other than that, that, I feel great. I feel amazing. I feel blessed and highly favored. You know, I I feel I still got that creative burst inside of me. So you know, just keep it pushing. Never give up. Never give up. When things get hard, it means things are getting better. So that's yeah. right. Are you talking like that because we watched Rocky the other day? We watched like three no. Rocky films in a row. She she was acting like she didn't want to watch them. Now you're talking. We actually like... watched two. Actually, don't exaggerate. No, we watched three. We watched the one where no, we watched two. He fights Apollo Creed. Yeah. Then the one where he fights Mr. T, and then the one where he fights Drago. If he dies, he dies. So that's three Rocky films. I didn't watch the first one of Apollo Creed. Oh, didn't you? No, we didn't watch that one. That was okay. So basically, me and the boys watched three Rocky films in a row. So yeah. We could watch two, and that's why she's like this because she's got. No, that's that not why. Rocky no, it's not why. It's because I, I got the Jesus Christ spirit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's keeping me going. Yeah, I think she. Yeah, not the, Jesus Christ. The Christ Holy Rocky. Spirit. The Holy Spirit is keeping me going. So that is, you know, that's what feeds me. That's what feeds me, and you know. I can't break down on my kids. My kids are my kids. I love them. I have to, you know. Who told me to go and have kids? <laughs> she couldn't resist. Um. So that's it. That's what we've been up to this week. Yeah, I am still looking at and you sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend like you're not looking at me. Like, you can feel your eyes. Um. So, yeah. As I was saying earlier on. Hold on, stop. Go on. I forgot, a few weeks ago, guys, we celebrated our ninth wedding anniversary. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did, didn't we? I did. forgot to say on the last podcast, I just want to say it because, you know, nine years is a long time. Everyday struggles. No, I'm joking. It's a long time. We've been together for 10 years. We've been married for nine years. And I think that is a great achievement. So I just wanted to say happy anniversary, babe. I love oh. you. I love you too. Give me a kiss. No, we're not kissing on the podcast. Give me a kiss. No! <laughs> okay. Um, that's where you get, fellas. After nine years of marriage, that's what you get. Give me a kiss and get pushed away. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it when you do that? To somebody? Rejection. No, no, no. <laughs> it's cool something when you do like that to someone. Smush. Smush? You smush them so. or something like that. Yeah, like, like their that. nose. And... Yeah, yeah. Just... Yeah, so I got smushed. Um, That's not true though. I always kiss him, but I'm not kissing. You guys don't want to see that. Sure. Uh, they probably don't in it. But yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. I, no, I didn't. We didn't. I didn't forget the anniversary, but I just didn't talk about it on the podcast. Mm. Um. Soon we're gonna get time together. I'm looking forward. We've got a date, a tentative date, penciled in. So when that happens, you'll know about it. I'm gonna go out. And get drunk. Yeah. No. <laughs> Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. The baby. Baby's so going to no get drunk drink. the next day. The next two no. days. <laughs> no. no. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, I love you. I love my wife. You know. we got stuff that we have to do. 
10 years next year I love my wife so much she does so much for me 10 years next year big things are going to happen um so today what are we talking about Issa? today we're going to talk about consent consent okay it's Issa. more complicated you have to ask me we've been married for nine years can we talk about consent please you have to ask me what if i say no what then I you're not allowed to, to you? do it i don't ask I don't need to ask for nothing. Well, then I can call 99 and say, oh, sorry. 99? You can call 99 if you nine want. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I should stop joking about it because people are like, why are they joking about it? So it's just things that really happen. Okay, okay. Mm-mm. Okay, so we're going to get into that. We're definitely going to get into that. And then we're going to talk about the slut walk. That's what it's called. I don't really like saying that word. But that's what it is. And we're going to talk about it. The slut walk movement. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get to that. But before we get to that, I just want to big up some podcasts. Okay? I want to big up some podcasts because they've helped us a lot. And... They supported us. Yeah, they supported us. And they don't have to. We know how busy you... As a podcaster, you're busy. You you have your your life and you also have your podcast. So let me quickly big up some podcasts. Okay? Melissa and Mandy... For Moms and Murder. That's right. Moms and Murder podcast. Their podcast is great. It's it's really good. Yeah. It's a it's a really good way to um put a spin on a tragedy sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they do the they way make they it, do it. They're is very nice. light hearted with it. Yeah. So. I like the way that they talk about it because look, let's face it, someone's died. Right. But, <laughs> Somebody's murdered. Yeah, some <laughs> someone's a murderer, someone's died. But the way that they do it is really entertaining. Yeah. Really funny. And they're actually great ladies, you know. Yeah. I, I get along with them and they're always helping us if we need help. And um they produce a really good podcast. They I'm got, not and they have a great sense of humour. Yeah, definitely. They're always got a great sense of humour like me. That's why we get along. Mm. And Basically, they produce a great podcast. I'm not really into true crime podcasts. I don't go out looking for them. Mm -hmm. Although they are interesting, but their one is definitely one to check out. So go and check it out. Mums and Murder podcast, all right? Next one. My friends, okay? They... Their language is a bit strong, okay? (laughs) Yeah. And I don't really use that kind of language, but... They're really, really good guys. Sean and Eric from the In Poor Taste podcast. Um, we, I, I talk to them. I, I video call them. I, I, I just call them and and I just chat to them. And Are we talk on Twitter. Yeah, just to talk. They're really, really good guys. They care a lot about podcasting. So and they're very supportive too. Very much so. So you know, check them out on Twitter and and Facebook and. Their podcast is called In Poor Taste, and I want to big them up because they've helped me a lot. It's, like, I have to say, especially Sean, like him, Sean is a is a is a nice guy. So check them out too. And last but not least, there's a group, and they're called Brit Pod Scene. Okay, you can get them on Facebook or BritPodScene.com. And what it is is a really good idea. Uh, 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 a lady from a podcast called (laughs) (laughs) I've put myself on the spot yeah sorry guys yeah I want to tell you so I hope you're still listening don't go anywhere now (laughs) don't hurt yourself don't hurt yourself now I'm talking to you oh you're talking to me don't hurt yourself you better not hurt yourself. Um, Rough Giraffe, sorry. Rough Giraffe, okay, that's the name of the podcast. Really funny. Um, and, you know, some other podcasts, they got together and they said, let's make a British pod scene kind of group. Platform. Yeah, platform where people can come and check out some British pod podcasts. And it's really good. We're part of it too. You know, everyone supports each other. So check them out if you want to find a new podcast and you know you don't know where to go check them out twitter facebook and britpodscene.com 
Yeah. There we go. And guys, can I just be a little bit honest with you right now? You know, Issa, Issa has a lot of information about, you know, um, other podcasters and podcast platforms. I not so much, you know. Issa is the one who got me into to podcasting. But um, I'm, I, I, I'm really busy and that's not an excuse. I do like to listen to podcasts every now and then but I, I sometimes I just don't have the time to do it but I, I well I, I do have time but when I do have time I find that I'm sleeping so mm-hmm. I just need to find time more time to get more connected with other podcasters and stuff so yeah I just wanted to say that okay yeah it will happen people know all the stuff that you do you get a lot of stuff done mm. I don't think you can do what you do and be listening to podcasts because unless you're going to have it blurting out in the speakers mm. and you're, you're doing the kids. When I can't, when, no, when I'm doing schoolwork, I can't do anything. I just have to do concentrate on schoolwork. Yeah. Then, yeah, so. Well, the truth is that's why we make a good partnership. If you can't do certain things, I can do it. Mm. And there's some things that I can't do that you can do and you do. So. We work together. Oh yeah, and and soon we're going to have some really good guests. So you just keep an air and an eye out for that. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you know today, the reason why I want to talk about consent is basically kind of like two reasons. Yeah. Now the first reason is that nowadays in the news, there's a lot of talk about consent. A lot of people. Especially people in positions of power, mm-hmm. in it, and fame. They're getting found out. They done stuff. Certain things in the past. They done certain things Years in the ago. past. They did not ask for consent. They they just acting like consent never existed, and it's really quite disturbing. Mm. Um, so I can't see a not, not only did they not ask for consent they actually took advantage of their position realistically mm. because. You know, some of these ladies that are coming out, not all of them said that they... And men. Uh, and men and men as well. Not all of them said that they screamed or anything like that, but they were in a position where they felt put upon, if you mm. get what I'm saying. But they didn't want it. They, they, they There was no intentions to do that thing. And those people who took advantage, if they had asked, Oh, they don't even have to ask. You can tell if somebody wants it or not. And basically, you don't have to say no to know that somebody doesn't want it. Yeah. And they took advantage, basically, so... Yeah. And it's quite disturbing. Yeah. Um, And now it's getting deep because it's like people who aren't like that are being pressured into making sure they get a yes. What do you mean? As in, oh, you have to ask me. Shamika. Oh, like in that way. Shamika, can okay. we have sex? Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> there you go. Um, So, that's one part of why I want to talk about it. Because, yeah, and that's what you told me the other day. That some somebody was talking about consent in in a marriage. Yeah, yeah. And um, we're going to go through that. Mm. Um, The next reason is because basically what Shamika said is consent in marriage. And to be honest with you, even before this stuff came up about consent... It was, it took me a while to get used to, not uh, really about consent, but like reading Shamika properly, like what she wants, what she doesn't want, if I should do this or that. And, you know, a lot of the time I'll just be like, can we do this? Can we do that? It's not the proper way to do it. So It's a, it's a killer. It's a killer. I know. You, you, you're all and I was in asking for consent, and it killed in, the mood. And you're just well, not, you don't always, but but when you, when it happened, you're settling in, you know, getting you know, just getting cozy and stuff, and then all of a sudden, oh, can why are you killing the mood, man? Why can't we just settle into it? You know, just mm. let it just happen, oh, just oh. just um. <laughs> Just merge. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, yeah. That's a good word. We merged. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. So, babes, you know, come on. Um, let's let's go with this thing about... You okay? Yeah. Just, just oh, morning. you don't want to show it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so all this stuff is happening nowadays. What's your f- thoughts on it? What's all my thoughts? Stuff going on with consent. 
Um, I just moved the camera by accident. It's okay. Still yeah, a good one. Can you hear Zakaya, guys? She's crying, but we're gonna leave her. But um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. What was the question? Yeah. So nowadays we've got all these stories coming out celebrity and so what do i think stuff. about consent or what do i think about the, the whole been thing happening? like this well, issue of consent I've, make sure that's linked to it the issue of consent <sighs> i think that you, you of course you're going to need consent but <sighs> i think it's guys it's quite tricky because at the end of the day the everything, the things that were that the things that have been coming to light these days about um, people in positions of power uh, abusing their um, positions, mm. and abusing their their stand their standing. That is like that was that seems like it was a seedy ring, like that seems like something that has been going on mm. and has been known by like celebrities, like when you. The, because it's not when it comes out, it's not only one person that comes out of it. Other people come out of it, so yeah. it's something that people know. But it was like seen and not. Uh, it was seen and not said. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? People so, will see what's going on, but they're but not they didn't talking say it. about it. So it was basically it was kind of normalized. Mm. Oh, you know that's such and such. He's just like that, or you know it's okay. You know we call him hands or something like you yeah. know things like that. It's like. And it's like, okay, so then if it's like that, then everybody in the situation was responsible. Yeah? It, I'm not saying that the person who was um, abused in the situation is responsible for being re- abused. But it takes for somebody to speak out. People need to speak out. Even somebody who wasn't abused, who isn't abused and knows that a certain person is doing... Somebody needs to speak out. Yeah. You can't just You can't just all just keep it quiet... And all of a sudden, everybody's coming to to light. You know, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm expressing myself properly because that sounded a bit dumb. But I just think it's um, that situation was a thing back then, and it I was. Think... And I think it was an. It's a nor. It was a normal thing in that industry. It yeah. may even still be yeah. a normal thing in that industry. I think back then, yeah, the way that there wasn't social media and there wasn't really the internet in the way that it is now. Yeah. It was like, this is what this person does. Like, you know, some people, they use, they would, they were using like drugs on women. Yeah. It's mad. All this stuff. And boys. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it was kind of known like, okay. Like, so I've heard, I heard stories of, you know, don't go and talk to this this celebrity because you might just wake up the next morning and not know what happened. Mm. You know what I mean? And then yeah. and then you will get a you get called for a job or something good will happen. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then it's also like what you said, oh we call him hands, he likes to grab and and mm, he likes all this stuff. stuff. And I think it was like, okay, this is just how it is, but now the power's shifting, isn't it? The power's shifting, but the thing is, the whole world isn't like the entertainment industry. So now we've got like, no, I don't, I don't want to say normal because I don't think normal exists, but just like your everyday person mm. who's getting caught up in all these things about consent. So now they're talking about oh yeah because that yeah 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 because on. it happened there now it's like they're bringing it to everyone like yeah it's everyone it. needs to. Ask for consent. Yeah, and I don't know, like, obviously you have to ask for consent. Obviously there has to be a full, like, it's not as easy, it's, it, it can't be a case, yeah, that you have to say to the person, is this okay? Is it still okay? Is this, is it still okay? Is that okay? Is it still Okay. Is it still okay? Well, I don't know. Like I don't know if it's okay because I'm too intoxicated. That's another. That's a, that's even that's another the next issue. One. But I, I, I was gonna say something before, before I get there. The thing that I don't understand is this consent thing, and you know, you know, um, these um, people in places of power taking advantage. What about Hugh Hefner? 
what because because okay so these 18 year old that just turned 18 year old consented but some 90 year old man can be putting his things in them I don't, you know i i think that's wrong i don't see that i don't see that there's any different i think hugh hefner was a pervert because just because you went for a girl when she's she when she was 18 mm. you could have been looking at that girl from she was 16 and 17 and waiting for her to turn 18 do you get what i'm saying he pretty much obviously was so so to me that he's a to me that's very perverse that's very perverse and i think that is how you know few hefner used to have these parties where these people these men who were perverse or you know mm would go and find these girls and stuff. So to me, there's no, um, there's no difference. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. These girls were, um, may have said yes to doing it, but at the same time, why they were, they were still in a vulnerable position. You have to have money. They, they wanted to get out of their situations, their circumstances. So they said, yes, mm-hmm. and, I still and, and... think that's wrong because, somebody you're taking advantage of somebody in a vulnerable situation and yes that person wants something and you want something you want sex and they want money but at the same time you're a big man and they are have just come out of um childhood yeah and realistically for if you're 18 years old you can say yes to having sex but you can't drink alcohol so what you what is that yeah, you still you, things you can't you're, do basically you're a child because you're still but you, the law's still telling you what to do. So to me, an 18-year-old is still a child. So how yeah. Hugh Hefner can say, oh, yeah, well, they said yes. You're taking um, advantage of a child as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, the crazy thing is he had the best consent. I'm, not, I'm sure that they had to sign all these yeah, forms. Yeah, they did. They had to sign stuff. This. He had the... He, Hugh Hefner had the greatest consent you could can, ever... Can you imagine? He paid... His girlfriend a thousand pound a week, but at the same time they were, they had to ask him when they could go off go go places and stuff like that. People are trying to say R Kelly's bad for doing the same yeah, thing. Why is R Kelly bad for doing that same thing? But Hugh Hefner was okay to do it. You know Hugh Hefner, yeah. Hmm. Hugh Hefner branded himself fantastically, yeah. He made a lot of money from it, and he. He built his business up in a time where people weren't thinking about, oh, consent and it doesn't look right. He managed to get through all of that. Yeah, but you know what I think? I feel like some of these people who are getting accused of doing these things and also, rightly so, because some of them are not even denying it, Mm. I feel like, like they were also people that would go to the playboy mansion so it was all normal so they they must have been doing these this thing with other people like everybody knew everybody knew yeah like why i just don't anyways i don't know i just i i just think it's it's it's, when you look at the entertainment industry music and film it's just crazy how all this stuff you know, me as a, a normal person, I, I don't... Normal. Just an everyday person. I'm not involved in the music and film industry in any way. Having all these people come out and seeing what everyone was getting up to, it's just crazy to imagine that that is a lot of people's world and some people really want to get into that world. And they just have to kind of know to themselves, like... I'm going to have to do certain things to get somewhere. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that's just disgusting. And I, and I, and I do also feel that some girls put themselves in that position. But, before anybody starts saying, oh, well, but I feel like they are in a vulnerable position. I, I think that if a person is in a vulnerable position, vulnerable position, then it's not consent, really. No, because they're doing it because they really need something from you, and and you're you're the person with the upper hand. Yeah, you you've got everything. You hold all the cards, and they're at the beck and call because they want one thing from you. So they they are more likely to give you what you want, even though it, it may disgust them. That's just sad. 
And because I've got kids as well, it's just disgusting to think about. That's why I'm trying to grow my kids up to be very strong minded. Mm. You know, even when it comes to what you said about, even if we're not talking about the entertainment industry in any way, even if we're just talking about, I'll, I'll use an example because you hear this a lot. You know, it happens more where a lady is in a vulnerable position, like due to alcohol or mm. drugs or whatever. Because as a bus driver, I see so much stuff when I do lates. That's mm. that's one way that I see a lot of crazy stuff, <laughs> mm. you know. And I'm not like an old person. I'm not like, oh, back in my day, I would, I'm still young, like the same people that are out there staggering around in the streets you know it's true though Mm. and then it's like if something happens to that person of course people shouldn't be going out there and you know taking advantage of people but i think you have to be like really strong nowadays Mm. and if you do like a drink and you do like to party and you know stuff like that, that there's nothing wrong with that but i think you like it's it's re- responsibility is really important because it's not just okay like okay something happened but it's not the person's fault everyone knows it's not the person's fault yeah but obviously the best thing is for is for nothing to happen in the first place the the best thing is not to get drunk you cannot be a female and get so drunk that you don't even know you're incoherent and then when you some some a guy does something to you you say oh but i wasn't in the right you know i wasn't in the right frame of mind how do you know that he was in the right frame of mind he could be a child too you could be 18 he could be 18 he's a young boy he could be like drunk out of himself and doing the same thing that you're doing but because he's the male he might get in trouble because you didn't you because you didn't feel like you were capable of saying yes but you said yes you know Listen, it, it's like the slut walk thing. We live in an era where people want to say, oh, yeah, well, we should be able to wear whatever we want to wear and do whatever we want to do because, you know, just because I can, I can embrace my sexuality. Okay, that's fair enough. But we live in a society where there are psychopaths and paedophiles and weirdos and so... You have to take start taking some sort of responsibility. You cannot be like, well, no, if I say no, then no is no. Because some people who are sick in their head, they don't understand no. They don't, no means nothing to them. Yeah, they don't care. So you have to then, on your part, take some sort of responsibility and make sure that you are safe at all times. If you cannot do that, then don't go out. If you cannot, if you don't know what you're doing when you get drunk, don't get drunk. Because you cannot put the blame on somebody else. Because they don't have the capacity to think like a normal person. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's not like, oh, you went out, you know, forget what whoever's wearing, yeah? You went out, st- stuff happened. It's not like we're trying to say, oh, it's not their fault. They don't have the capacity. It's more like, no, you know what they're it's capable of you know that they might not have capacity and that's disturbing mm. for human to be like that so you have to take the steps obviously when things happen the law should be more on the the, the victim side uh, there's a lot of cases where people are oh, what yeah, was she wearing of, yeah. oh, because you were it's not like because you were wearing this your your case is like doesn't mean as much no, but that's how they act. Is you that wearing is. this so it's your fault? That, 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 or that's you, how, yeah. you was at this place. And so and no, that's not true. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say it is your fault. I'm trying to say you need to know the world that we live in, and know that there are people out there that will take, uh, will take. Um, Word. advantage will take advantage and sometimes no it's not down to what you wear because you could have tracksuit bottoms and some some guys will still do it you know it's not about that but you just have to be aware that th- you cannot look at somebody and know okay he's you know he's gonna mm. do this to me or he's gonna do that to me mm. you don't know so you you just don't trust no one trust no one that's how, how that's how yeah. i was when i was young i i made sure that i, I didn't go anywhere with and you know sometimes like 
sometimes my friends will get in the car with people they don't know just just to get a lift that's i'm not going with you i'm not going nowhere with somebody i don't know i'm not going to be in a situation a vun- i'm not going to put myself in a vulnerable p- situation you know and if i did if i if i ever it. have it was naivety but i'm not going to um go into something thinking yeah well you like like i have a daughter now you think I'm gonna let my daughter? I'm not gonna allow my daughter to go out in any um, inappropriate clothing because it's not safe. It's not safe, you, you know. And you could be like, oh yeah, but you're just, you know. I mean, it's, it, or it's yeah, she's young and it's, it's fashion. So what if it's fashion? Go make your own fashion. Don't follow fashion. <laughs> we talk about that a lot here on this podcast about how society is. Don't Following. watch what society is doing because society don't care about the average person. What's that song that now? Walking, talking, something. Though we think, think we're, we're living. living. We're, we're just copycats copy following the system. system. Yeah, don't be a copycat. That's Nas. And don't follow the system. Like, don't follow people because people will follow you to your death. You will follow people to their death. Trust me. To your death. And to they might death. not die. Yeah. <laughs> innit? And, you know, to, to flip it, yeah, just to flip that situation, I'll use guys and girls again, and I'll say it from the guys' point of view. I know there's a lot of situations where guys, they go out, they meet a girl, da-da-da-da-da, they're in a club together, they might be drinking together, everything, they go back, things happen. Mm. The guy never was saying, I'm going to go out and I'm going to assault someone to, to, to get sex. Mm. But going out with a the girl, they like the girl, they go somewhere, they have sex, and then a couple of days later or something... Police. <laughs> police, yeah, police and all sorts of madness. And I'm saying this, it's a hypothetical, because let's say hypothetically, he was like a, a, a nice, a decent guy. He didn't mean to, but he had an opportunity with this lady and he took it. Mm. And he did kind of... Not that he blatantly got consent, like he got written consent, but... There was no forcing or nothing. Yeah, yeah. That situation happens a lot. Mm. Yeah. And you know the way that you combat that? You just make sure you get to know someone properly when you meet them. Get to know them. Spend time. What is going out, meeting someone... And doing things like that with them straight. What, what? Some, so, but some people think it's okay. It's just a part of being young. Well, that's society it, again, isn't it's it? It's not. It's not okay, and it's not just a part of being young. Sleeping around is not a part of being young. It's not. Who told you that? Somebody told you that. You've been watching stuff. You've been watching too much TV. You've been watching what the media have been telling you is okay. It's not okay to just sleep around. Yeah, that's how you sleep around, creep around, bring back disease. What if next time it was HIV, Miss Dynamite? Yeah, <laughs> like Dynamite. I, I, at the end of the day, you don't, you can't just sleep around because a condom was not going to always protect you. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, look, look at what you have coming coming against you when you do things like that. Yeah, and I I I don't like to sound, like, but you know what? I can't help it. I'm young, but I'm I've got four young children and I'm married. I can't help it. You don't like to sound what. Like, I'm being like, man, don't do that. Kids nowadays, do you know what I mean? But it's true. Look at what you even, have. You can't. It's not even kids. It's not. It's older people do it as well. So even our age. We're not even. We're not even just saying to the young people because some younger people got more sense than some older people. Yeah, I just think it's like, look what you have coming against you, just to just to be out and you get to like have an encounter with someone and then it's like disease pregnancy like let's let's go through everything in it imagine you can be accused of raping someone let's say you really didn't you know male or female can be both ways a a man can be like i didn't want and i know things that happen i don't want this to happen but But the lady forced i've heard of situations where the girl has been in a relationship and she had sex with somebody just a one night stand and uh, just so that she didn't get in trouble with her man she cried rape no, I don't know the person, but I've heard You've of that heard situation. And it's like, if you never slept with her in the first place, you, your name could never get called for nothing. Yeah. Because some, you don't know, you cannot know by looking at a person, their character. You don't know. And nobody is trustworthy until you learn to trust them. You can't look at, you can't be like, oh, well, she's a girl. No. Girls can be, um, 
what's the word? They can be uh, vindictive. They can be, be just as vindictive as men. Sometimes even more. Because women are smarter than men. I'm sorry, guys, but we are. But, you know, like, you, you don't, just don't uh, sleep I around. I beg to differ. Don't we, sleep around. We are clever men. Yeah, you're, you're, you're clever. I think we're just clever in different ways. Y- yeah, women... If we're generali- generalising. Yeah. But you, the, the things that men don't think about, women think about. Yeah, it's true. And and just to go back a bit, like I said about you should get to know someone and, and all of this. That's why like marriage is very important because it makes you accountable mm. for when things go wrong. And like let's be honest, we we're still together ten years later and nine years of marriage later, yeah? Mm. But when we got together we learnt a lot in the first five years. The first year was like great, but then after you get married and then life goes on, you learn a lot about the other person, don't you? Mm. It's just so important to get to know someone. Mm. And it's we've gone in a big circle. And and, but and, and and you know you're right about marriage, yeah, because you may go through things, but it you, in the marriage you're less likely to just give up. Yeah. You're more likely to stick and try and you know because in the first few years, yes, you have the um honeymoon period and all of that but you also learning to work with somebody else you're also learning how not to be selfish you're also learning not to be all about yourself but to become to, for both of you to become become one flesh yeah. so there's a lot of things that you have to learn to um to give up and gain yeah yeah so so and then and that sometimes makes things hard. It's hard to um, not just do things how you've always done it. It's hard to be told, oh, you, uh, that your partner doesn't want to do that, so you might not be able to do it. You have to <laughs> compromise, you know, and to learn to compromise, it's 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 hard when you're not used to it. Do you get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and if you was in a relationship, like a lot of lots of relationship end quickly. But if you're if you're married. You know, you, you work that bit harder because you don't want to give up on the marriage. Yeah, and you know, in it's the f- kind of, it's not very easy to just get a divorce. And well, it probably is easy. Oh, do you but, mean? Oh, oh, do you, you I don't mean, mean like, literally getting the divorce? You mean? Yeah, I mean like to give up on your marriage, basically. Yeah, but I also mean even to get a divorce because like if one person is a bit like, oh, I don't know if I want to, then it's it can be kind of hard. Mm. You know. And I just think it's good to be held accountable. I think it's really important. Like, okay, let me People try and find a the way. World, the world doesn't I really know. push marriage so much and they don't really push staying together. Yeah. Like, it's okay to just be with somebody then give up They'd whenever you want. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's okay to have, make it relationships a casual thing. And I don't think it is a casual thing because you're sharing your bodies your souls your everything you're sharing you're sharing it you're sharing your like come on man your fluids Ugh, i'm not sleeping with any and anybody i thought you were gonna say i'm not sleeping with you no, i'll sleep with you because <laughs> i'm married to you and, and you, because and, you and, like me oh, about i'll sleep with you because i'm married but, to but you. no but even still like even before i was even married to you i wouldn't mm. just sleep with any and anybody no i never slept around that made me like, respect you like you were just, uh, you are, as you are that kind of a person. You are very careful about who you hang around with. You were you, like, you, you liked me, but you didn't just, okay, I like you, so let's do whatever you want. You know, it wasn't like that. <laughs> do whatever you want. You know, and, and although I want to do whatever I want, mm. I'm so glad that you didn't and I had to work for it and it's like I can I found out the person that you are and I then I knew to myself okay so she's not doing this because it's like if if to a lot of men if a woman is easy it's nice yeah man oh yeah well, I can do whatever I, I want I, I, I don't think I'd, I played hard to get with you I think I'm the one who gave myself up <laughs> to you well that's how it's supposed to be isn't it no oh, okay maybe it's just what I have no um, but no, like men, men would like a woman who's easy. Let's use that word, mm. but they ain't going to bring them to their mom. You know that saying, yeah. you're not going to take them home to mom and you're not really going to have the respect that you would for a woman who 
you get to know before that you get to know them in the proper steps Mm. and that leads in nicely to just a quick thing i wanted to say about like consent in marriage now i listened to this podcast um that makes no sense to me what consent in marriage yeah all right well you know it's just dumb it's it's a thing nowadays because you know unless you're in a in a in an abusive marriage where your husband literally does rape you because that does happen. But I think why in all marriages does it have to be, can I have sex with you? Yes. No. No, do you know what it is? They get the outlier. They get the the, the outlier. They get the situation. Say marriage in general, mm. you you're like let's look in Western society, you're not forced to get married. It's not most of the time, it's not arranged. You want to get married to this person, you're excited, you're happy, you have your wedding, everything, yeah? yeah? Most marriages, you have ups and downs, but they go okay, I would guess. But there's there's some men who are crazy, women who are crazy. And then when these things happen, people try and change the rules for those situations. Mm. So, you know, I was listening to a podcast, and it's called Yang Theory Pod, mm-hmm. yeah? And it's a really good podcast. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'll subscribe to it. It's for black... Yeah. Girls black, from Dublin. Yeah, from... from I don't know if they're from Dublin, but they're from, from Ireland. From Ireland, yeah. I don't know why. Really? From, I don't know why. All trust me, said Dublin. Yeah, that's because yeah. that's like what we know, isn't it? I think they are from Dublin, though, but... Okay. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, Young Theory. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just to, to Young Theory a few weeks ago, and they were talking about, like, consent and all this stuff. And I'm listening to it as a as a married man, been married for a while, but I'm still young. Mm. I'm thinking, no, it it can't be like that, you know. Consent, and you always have to make sure you have consent. You know, how many times do we get physical and there's no questions asked? It's just body language. It's how things are going in it. Mm. But they. They were saying kind of it in a way like you have to, even when, if you're a couple and this and that, you still have to be like, are you sure, you know, everything okay? I didn't, I'm still trying to get my head around it, but maybe that's because of the relationship that we have. You shouldn't have to be like that. No, it's not. I think it comes down to situation. If you want to have sex with your wife and you see your wife is not in the really in the mood, but she's not saying nothing. Like, sorry guys, you probably don't want to know this, but we've been in situations where I've I've been like tired or something, and you try it and whatever, and I don't say no. Always try. I don't say no, but you're like, oh yeah, no, forget it, innit? Yeah. Because it's like it's weird, innit? I'm gonna have sex with somebody who's like. Not not really do it, helping, contributing to it. it, yeah. it, it, it th- there's something wrong in it. I don't know. When, so, when I was younger, I would, I would definitely still try. I will still, <laughs> I will still be like, Boy, but she hasn't said no. So no. It's <laughs> well, then it's like, oh, okay. But now it's like, it's not just about that particular situation. It's about everything leading up to it. How the day's gone. How how you know? Have I made the day a bit easy? How's the day been while well, I've been at work? When I got back from work, how did things go? It's not like kids are in bed. <laughs> are they sleeping? Yes. Let's lock the door. Come on, babe. This is... No. But we can do that if we want to. No, but we can. <laughs> but I mean, like, this thing about consent. What am I meant to do? Oh, babe, you're right. Oh, wow. You feel soft. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Rubbing you. Up. Rub other parts, which I won't do on camera. Is that okay? Then you have to say yes. And then I start kissing you. Uh, Babe, is that okay? Yeah. And then I... S- no. It doesn't work like that. No. In a healthy it's relationship. Ne- it's never going to work like that. And that's how it should be in a healthy relationship. And if a relationship is not healthy, you don't apply rules, especially with things like consent. Mm. You have to just take that situation and get prof- professionals to go in and help. But that... That conversation they had was really, really good conversation. Like, you should check it out, guys. Yang Fairy Pod. I liked it because I like to get uh, women's Female. views on stuff. And I can't just walk up to a group of four girls and, and just listen to their conversation. And, and sorry, one more thing. It's a bit, it's a bit 
going a bit sideways off this conversation, but it kind of involved a bit about um, women feeling so I, I heard um what was i watching i was watching something and with these women were having a discussion uh, i think it was back chat new york okay and one i think it was one of the first episodes and one one of the girls was saying that um basically i can't remember what the question was but it was about um i can't remember but basically the girl was saying um why can't we do like what men do like at the end of the day no. it's 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 a new era now and you know we we why if they can do it then why can't we just because a guy cheats or just because a guy does certain things why does it mean that you can do it too if he does it it's wrong so what it what because he does it and it's wrong you want to do it and be wrong and strong as well no and number two we're not the same. Men and women are not the same. Just because a man does it and the world says it's okay for a woman to do it, do not hold yourself to the same standard as what other people say is okay to do. Yeah? Once upon a time, it was okay to do certain things and now it's not. Or once upon a time, it wasn't okay to do things and now it is. Yeah, the world listen, is always shifting and changing and moving and the ideals change. Yeah, you have to stick gonna... with your own morals. Those same people, yeah, are going to say, yeah, back in the days, like, now, like, with the slut walk, like, with women going out and being like, yeah, well, I'm going to, like, sleep with multiple men over the next, in one night, or whatever it is that... sleep around because guys can do Yeah, it. because, like, that's what men supposedly do. We can't help it. So they're, they're going to be like, yeah, things have changed. Now we can do it. So we're going to take... Hold of that. That is stupidity. I'm sorry, but that is stupid stupidity. Your mind has been brainwashed by society. Your mind has been brainwashed by media. Yeah, because I don't care. I'm going to make this bold statement, but no woman in their right mind is going to just uh, want to do something because somebody else can do it. That makes no sense. What, you want to put miles on yourself because other people can do it? That makes no sense. I'm telling you, men can do men do certain things because they think differently. Now, for us to do it, we do not think in the same way as them. So, if we can do it and be and feel free to do it, and there's no issue, then something's not, something ain't right with you. Something is not right with you. There's something. Something happened to you when you was a child, or so, something happened. Yeah, because it's not normal for a woman to want to sleep around and be okay with it all the time. That's not okay. Just because a man can do it. And and let me tell you something, yeah. And it's not okay for a man to do sorry, babe. Yeah, it's not it's not okay for a man to do it. It's never. I wouldn't want any man that slept around with how much how much woman. If, um, I got three sons. I don't want none of my sons sleeping around with no one. You get me? I don't. I want them to date and find a wife. I don't want. I don't think it's acceptable for anybody to sleep around. Yeah, but it's don't sleep around. Don't be as a woman want to sleep around because men do it because they're different to us. Leave them. They think different to us. Their emotions are not like ours. Yeah, like we we have to generalize sometimes, isn't it? But let me tell you something, yeah. Men that do things like that, who sleep around or whatever, jack the lad, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm. And society doesn't punish them or call them names, really. Hmm. Men who are of sound mind, who don't do things like that because they care about who they're sleeping, sleeping with. with and who they have relationships with. We look at them kind of men like... What is You're that? Frigid. What that guy? That guy. Something wrong with that guy. Mm. It, you know, it, it it might it might seem like it's a thing of yeah, oh yeah, man, he's cool. But you know, when you get when you become a proper man and you look at men like that, I can say for myself, I just think something wrong with that guy. Mm. No one should be doing that. Forget what society says. Women out there, men out there, of what you could do or what you should be able to do because men can do it or women can do it. Forget that. You have to think about yourself. You have to think about your health mentally and physically, you know. You have to be really careful, man, because then when things happen, when when you decide to act a certain way as a man or as a woman and then 
there's all these diseases going around or there's all these things that that can happen it's and it's not even your fault yeah mm. so the same society that was calling you jack the lad is gonna now turn their back on turn you. their back on you because you've you've got something attached to you now that's what ends up happening and then what you find is that late running like you mess up people's lives yeah by not treating them right by doing disgusting things and then later on in life is when you really start to think about things isn't it Mm -hmm. that's when things come back to you when you get older you know you're doing all this stuff you think it's okay, you're not thinking about it, you get older, and then certain things happen in your life, and it's like, oh yeah, that's because I done X, Y, Z when I was young, you know, Mm -hmm. it's not worth all that kind of stuff, so, yeah, man. And then then it goes back to what we were saying in the beginning about um, people, like, people, like, if we follow what the world tells us to do, those those women and men um, in the media who have come out and say, said such and such has happened to them, yeah, they were chasing something, weren't they? Yeah. And they put themselves in vulnerable... Well, they didn't, all, they didn't put themselves in vulnerable positions, but to me, kind of, some of them did. Because at the end of the day, what kind of meeting are you having in a hotel room? In some in, in a man's hotel room. What kind of meeting are you having in a man's hotel room? You talk about like the actresses and Yeah. Yeah. I just don't understand that. If you don't know this person, yeah. Or maybe you do know them. No, I'm talking about a specific Oh, okay. Situation. Si- si- okay. Situation that I've heard in the media but Okay. So so you don't know the person but you know that they're they have like a high standing, they've got they're like um there's somebody that can get you somewhere in in the acting industry. Mm. You go to the them to their hotel room for a meeting. Red flags. But you 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 so want it so much that you're willing to do that. You're willing to take the chance. It's not worth it. It's not worth taking the chance because when something happens now, that person has stolen something from you. Can't get it back. And and as much as it was not your fault that that person was sick in their head, you have to also be accountable for the fact that you put yourself there and you should have never have been there. Not because you've not because you knew or anything like that, but just because if you don't know a person's character, do not trust their intentions. You don't know them. You don't know their intentions. Mm. So just because they say that they can help you doesn't mean they. They can, yeah. They doesn't. It really doesn't mean that. So you don't just stop me. I don't trust anybody until I can see or feel. And then even still, you don't. You never know a person's character. Not ever, but you know what I mean. No, it's true. Until you have a proper relationship with, with them, them over yeah. time, yeah, that's just the truth of the matter. And you see them in different situations. Because you look at the the, the woman that she went to the she went to the hotel. She who was she. I don't want to say the the man's name, but she went to this to have a meeting with this guy, and she came with somebody else that she did know. Yeah. And when the guy, when the other guy was doing something physical to her that she didn't like, she looked to the other guy that she thought was her friend, and he did nothing. Wow. So you, so you, it, that's entrapment. Mm. But you, but you it's said you knew up. the guy. Yeah. So what you think you know, you don't always know. You have to be um, aware of your surround. You have to be aware. You have to you have to put yourself first and protect yourself first. Yeah. Don't want something so much that you're willing to give up yourself because other people can see that too, and they'll pounce on it. Yeah, and and that thing yeah. that they have taken away from you, you may not have been a virgin. It doesn't really matter. They, they took something away from you that is so precious and you can't get it back. You can't get... You, you, you won't get over that thing. that Because it, you... Although... <laughs> you may... you Listen, even if you didn't say no, it's very clear when you don't want something, when you're a bit like... You're doing it because you want something else. Yeah. Even that... It's wrong. It's wrong. A man should never t- do that. But there's people out there that will do it. Like so. Yeah, they're they're sick and 
they you can't don't deserve to be like having the same you know things that a normal person has been able to experience the world like we do they deserve other things because they're not well they need to get themselves sorted out and you know but because they have the power you know no one can do anything to them oh no things always come back though doesn't matter how much power you you think you might have how much money you think you might have things come back they're coming back now in it so lots of people mm. some of the things that some of these celebrities are saying when you know people are saying this is what you did to me and they're saying certain things like oh did that happen to you oh i'm sorry you know i didn't mean i don't know you know i don't, I don't know remember i don't remember how many it people sounds did you like do a it bad to? thing it sounds like a bad thing that happened to you and i'm sorry that it happened to you and you know oh yeah i'm gay you know, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, this the kind of people that you're dealing with, so... You're trying to blame being gay on your reason for doing assaulting that. Assaulting and... A child. No, you're a paedophile. Oh, man, so... <laughs> being gay and being a paedophile are two separate things. Don't yeah. try and use that as Yeah, don't as use an that as now. a way. Come yeah. on, like, you're trying to, like, go over to this side to try and protect you from something else. No. Yeah? So... Um, yeah, I think we've actually gone through a lot of stuff and um, it's been about a lot of crazy stuff happening nowadays. You look like you've gone through your faces. Like, <laughs> no, I'm, I, you know what? You know when you're just thinking about things and it's just like... It's just, I don't like them for Sometimes well. it's just, it's, it's just, it's sometimes it can be a, this is a sick world that we live in. Not everything is sick in the world, but if you think about the, 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 the crazies that are out there. You just can't put your trust in people just on a whim or just on a sight. You cannot tell by looking at somebody or somebody telling you of a character. You can't tell until you know for yourself. That's like, right. And I teach my children to be leaders. Don't follow people because people will lead you to your death. People people lead you to your detriment. People will lead you into certain stick, sticky situations. You know, don't follow anybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. And I know you a lot only... of people. A lot of people will be like, "Oh well, you know, she's, you know, you have to be trusting a bit." No, you don't. No, you don't. Why? Who tells you that? You, you have to be... trust in yourself. You have to be so. You have to know yourself and trust yourself. <coughs> you okay, babes? Mm-hmm. You have to trust yourself and know what you're getting yourself into. Obviously, mistakes happen and stuff like that. But you should always have faith in yourself and believe that where you want to go in life, you can get there. Mm. You know, so when you are in certain situations, you can get out of it. I'm not saying any situation anyone's ever been in, they can get out. I've been in situations where I've after I've been like, I didn't even have the, the mental strength to get out of this situation. Mm. Not about stuff that we're talking about, but you know, but I can look back and be like, man, if I was stronger, mm. then if I would have taken the time to make myself mentally stronger, mm. I might not have been in that situation. That person is bad. That this thing that this situation that happened is not good. Mm. But next time I can be ready, and you know, you can look at other situations that happen and try and learn from them. But yeah, that's but all you can do. But I don't know if I spoke about this on another podcast. But I, I, you know, that I've been, I've put myself in a vulnerable situation. Yeah, you I've told been me. one sit one time. I put myself in a situation where if the person that I was with was, you know, a pervert. Then I could have put myself in a in a vulnerable situation to to get raped, but thank God, because I was naive. It's not like I knew what I was, like I knew what I was doing, but I was I didn't have any. I was very naive, isn't it? So mm-hmm. and and I don't know what happened, but basically I was able to say no and nothing happened. Yeah, you know, but that could have easily have been something else. It could have gone because elsewhere. I went somewhere. I went to a personal space with somebody not thinking that this person is going to want to do this, that or the other. Mm. And, you know, and thank God that person took my lowest note and that was it, you know? Yeah. But it, it, I mean, so I, yes, on that side, um, in that way, I'm saying, I'm not saying every situation that 
everybody puts themselves in, it's always their fault. No, sometimes we are naive and sometimes we, you know, do things and make mistakes, but we, we have to learn from them. Or And we have to learn from other people's mistakes as well. When you see certain things happening, then take it on board and learn from it. Mm. You know what, at the end of the day, that is part of the reason why we do this podcast, because we we want to share our experiences and what we think, but we also want anyone who listens to it to contact us. And we do have people that speak to us. And whenever that happens, we have a little conversation with them, innit? Mm. There's been a few and... Uh, you know, don't be scared if you've heard something in here. Because even when I heard that thing on Yang Theory Pod, what they were saying, I got on the email or Twitter or DM or DM them or something. And I said, okay, so what do you think about, you know what I mean? Mm. It, it will always start a nice conversation with us because we're interested in what other people think. Because mm. we're not the only people living in the world, innit? Um, so anyway, do you have anything more to say? No, I don't. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a... There's a lot of stuff going on nowadays and if things are happening, we'll talk about it, innit? Mm. But uh, if you do want to get through to us, our email is podcast at youngfreeandcouple.com and our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is young... Number three. And then the word coupled. And those are ways that you can get through to us. So you could just go to youngfreeandcouple.com and, you know, you can see all the details there. Also, if you enjoy our episodes, share, like, subscribe. Share. Pass it on. Let everybody hear it. Let, well, not everybody, but... Yeah, everybody, please. Yeah. But pass it on. Let other people hear it. If you don't agree with us, let us know. Tweet us, you know. Yeah. Just let us know. Start yeah. a conversation. That's right. Start a conversation with us. Uh, thank you, guys, once again. If you have not subscribed and subscribe on your podcasting app, okay? Every podcasting app has a way to do that. And on YouTube, make sure you turn your notifications on so that you know when every new episode comes out. You took the words right out of my mouth, babes. You have just watched Young, Free and Coupled. Take care, guys. <laughs>